Bob Bennett, Farsight Management. We specialize in indoor air quality issues. So I just completed an assessment on a property that had a history of water damage uh, to it and repeated water damage. And I wanted to talk about moisture content in the building materials because it's important that you understand um, what moisture content really truly means. Um, if you were to take a bundle of pencils and you can, and you look at it on the end, you can see the gaps between the pencils. And those are the gaps that can fill up with water. So when we talk about moisture content, the percentage, we're talking about how much void space you have versus how much water is in those void spaces. So it's a percentage. So 10% means that of the void space available, you have 10% of that void space is consumed with water. All right. So when you dry a piece of wood out and it comes out out of a kiln, you know, you're talking six, maybe 8% moisture content of that board. Now, um, it's pretty consistent with the moisture content, regardless of if you're talking about pine or oak or cherry, um, we're talking about the maximum amount of moisture that, that can be held by that piece of wood is 40%. That's the most. So if someone ever talks to you about moisture content being 100%, find somebody else to talk to because 100% is a glass of water. So, and when you look at meters, let's say you pick up a Delmhorst uh, moisture meter, they peg out at 40% because that's all you got. So uh, I think there's a misconception about that. Now, there's a difference between moisture content and water activation. When we talk in technical genre, when we're talking about people within our business having a circle of folks and we're talking, we talk about uh, uh, water activation. Uh, AW is the abbreviation for that. It's different than moisture content. The water that's available to the mold to uh, germinate and, and grow is based on um, water activation. It's not based on moisture content, but in you know daily dialogue with people, it's easier for folks to understand what, what uh, moisture content is. But I just wanna say that there is a difference between water activation, which is the actual measure of what's available for the mold to grow and moisture content. It's close, but it's not the same. All right, so in general terms, uh, whenever you read literature, People ask me all the time, what does it take for, for mold to germinate? And it's all over the board. Uh, I would say, uh, some people say 22%, some say 24, some say 26, but there's a big difference between how much moisture is required for it to germinate and then how much is required for it to continue growth. So let's say the germination is at 26%. I'm just throwing a number. It will, it will germinate and it will continue to grow until the moisture dries out to about 18%. So there's a difference between what it takes to start and what it, can, it is required for it to continue growth. All right. So uh, I hope that helps out with understanding moisture content of building materials because it's really, uh, it, it's really a misnomer when I talk to folks and they don't have a clue what, what we're trying to describe to folks. All right, Bob Bennett, Farsight Management. It's better to use Farsight than hindsight. All right, take care.